All right, day three. Last time we left off at this rock, we had uh, I had just cut in this bench cut right here. As you can see, it's holding up pretty good right now. Still need to get this out of the way. I'll do that later. But now, today, I'm gonna continue on with the trail. Just clearing out some loose rock. At this turn here, I measured out to be a six foot radius. Followed by a left turn, that'll be six foot radius as well. Cutting right through here. See how far we can get today. Like I said, I'm taking out the loose rock. General rule if it doesn't move, don't move it. That one's staying. Just found this little guy under a rock. He, oh. <laughs> the progress. So far I've cut out this next section of trail. One thing that I said in the uh, last video was that I was cutting this trail 20 inches wide and that that was a uh, standard for a Whistler Black. I wasn't really clear. It's actually 12 to 20 inches for a Whistler Black, but I am not keeping this trail at 20 inches throughout the whole thing. This section right here it's actually 36 inches reason being that it comes right after this feature so I wanted to make it a little bit wider and that way you have a nice clearing before you come into this turn which I'll be cleaning up a little bit more but I took the loose rocks out so far I got some of them stacked up right here. All right, so ended up cutting out that death spike. As you've seen before, right after this rock, cleared that out. Shake it out. Cleaned up this turn. Put in a berm here. Alright, day four update. Decided to come down here to the lower level, put in this hip. Since it had rained, I wanted to get this done. I just started on the landing, I didn't actually get it done, but got the lip in. Cleared out some of the trail before it. But now the sun's going down, so I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> 